Hey there, this is Ed Beard with the Employer's Edge. And can I give you two simple words that are the cause? The cause of an explosion in miscommunication that if you quit using, you're gonna find your life be a whole lot better. And those two simple, seemingly honest words are, I understand. Yeah, you understand what? Like, what do you understand? See, I understand is a fill-in term for a lot of reasons other than I understand. You could explain something to me, I could say, I understand, and the two of us are miles apart on what you really want. Because just because I said I understand doesn't really mean I understand. There's a lot of reasons people say that, and it causes a lot of problems, so quit doing it. Let me give you an example. You can come to me and say, hey Ed, we need you to show up more professionally in the office. I understand. And then you come back a week later and you say, um, Ed, we talked about you showing up more professionally in the office. You said you understood what I meant and you haven't changed a bit. I said, no, I have. I quit cussing. I knock on people's doors before I go in their office. I quit being so loud in the hallway. Just don't be so disruptive, you know? So I've made some big changes. No, that's not what you were talking about. What you meant is, no, we don't wear hats here. Get rid of your hat. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and brush your hair. Oh, sorry, sorry. And your desk is kind of a mess. And can you wear a white shirt? That one's kind of loud. Oh, see, now I know what you want because you were specific. Therein lies the solution. When you want people to understand, don't settle for I understand. You be more specific in the outcome that you're looking for. So real quick, why do people, if you're a boss and you're a direct report, say, I understand, under, you understand, I'm gonna be specific. If you micromanage people, they get tired of that. So they say, I understand, just blow you off. Get out of my office, I get it. If you have someone over in another department, say legal, that needs to look at your marketing piece for messaging, and you say, uh, I need this right away, they say, I understand. Do they really? What they're thinking maybe is a, uh, a lack of planning on your part does not constitute a crisis on my part. You've heard that term. And if everything, every time you go to the legal department with an urge, everything's urgent, they're gonna say, I understand, and they don't really understand. So be specific. What is the outcome? The 24th floor just called a meeting on the marketing strategy for the remainder of the year. Here's what they're asking from me. Here's what I need you to look at so when I present these numbers and demographics, we're on target. That is what I need by three o'clock. See, I don't even have to ask you now if you understand. Right? I don't even have to ask you that because I was so specific as to what you're looking for. You know, we have one organization where the boss blows up in meetings. And so her, their people say, I understand a lot just to get the meeting done before the boss blows up. We have another one who loves to call meetings, all staff meetings at 4.30 on Friday. Do you think they really want to continue that meeting? No, they want that as short as possible. So you hear a lot of, I understand, and they don't have a clue as to what you even want, why you're even there. They think you're doing it just to be mean and to prove you're a boss and you can control the rest of them, right? So I understand. Folks, if you want to dial in your communication, eliminate a lot of chaos due to miscommunication, stop using the term, I understand, because it really is generic and means absolutely nothing. And I hope, uh, I hope you understand that, whatever that means.